Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Liu Bei campaign. We pick things up for episode 6 from turn 43 in the winter season of 198. So as we come back into the game, you can see that we have quite a bit of land actually. Uh, we have most of the Sioux province, pieces of the Ting province, and we're actually at peace with all the factions in the game. The only faction that we want to be at war with is Yuan Shu, as we are starting our migration to the west. Our first destination is Runan, and as we proceed, we will give more and more of our land to the proper factions. Um, so that's going to be a goal. I think the only land that we will hang on here is probably Donghai, because you know that is going to be our capital for now. Uh, eventually, one of them will declare war on me again in the future, and we will lose it then, or perhaps we'll declare war on them. So. Our army needs to move. We are going to move through Huainan here, Shouchun. Historically, Yuan Shu should be here right now, and we should be in a war in a direct conflict with them. But uh, Yuan Shu did not get off the ground uh, in this game. We haven't met him, which is probably why he didn't go east towards us, uh, as all the other AIs have done. Now, there is not much going on this winter. We're not seeing any turncoats, and there are no real court positions we want to fill. I'm still taking the stance of leaving the air position uh, empty until we find someone suitable. That person could even be his sister, who is not of age yet, but I think it's now turn 67 when she comes of age instead of 87 because all the coming of age got moved up by two years so we'll keep an eye for that that's around 20 something turns he's probably not gonna like us but as we trade away more and more land we can reduce our threat assessment so not everyone's gonna hate us uh, that's for sure and that's really all we can do let's continue here and there's really no incentive to build out anything. We have pretty much everything built. Uh, Guangling will leave someone a very nice tax building for them. We're strengthening the AI by building them excellent tax buildings. Uh, and that way we get better fights and uh, the right factions become stronger under our guidance, I guess. So let's continue here. Yuan Shu's arrogance becomes untenable. So we can declare war on him, and that will be very historical here, exactly what we want to happen. Even though we don't even have vision of him yet, I'm trying to actually reach him and do the same thing myself. But this is excellent, and maybe we actually get vision of him here. Yes, we do. And I can spend my points to make him the enemy of the Han, so we're actually fighting him for the Emperor eventually. Boost ourselves back to full. Wow, quite a few lists of character always every every turn here. Cheng Xia, we got ourselves a burn officer, village chief. Can't say no to that. I mean, just for the fact that he's a burn officer. Uh, willing to spy, so he's clean. He left his faction unhappy. Tian Chou, haughty advisor. Um, I'm fairly certain he worked for... Uh, Yuan Shao. Minus two satisfaction, unbreakable. Unless he has items, I don't think we need him. Yang Ren, Zhang Lu. Worked for Sun Ce, most likely a spy then. Liu Gui we've seen already. Yu Zhu Jian. Oh, uh, we've seen him already too. So... Who has... Okay, so no items. We'll grab him just for the burn trait. And if we march... We can annex. We're going to use our points instead of returning to war with the High Empire. Hmm, Huang Fu Song being here. It's super tempting to fight him. Just to pick him up because all these bonuses but he's faction leader so at most we can have him drop us an item and then execute for another um that's not ideal but it's just nice to look at his set 
I guess if you want to use this set of mods and play him during the 182 start under Luger, that would be best. Lady Wu over here. Lu Su. A bit early for him to be working for Wu. He doesn't come along until after the battle should be actually. And for reforms, what do we want? I think we mentioned we want to just take some military ones. And I kind of agree with this assessment that we don't really develop much. Getting our tax building right now is enough. We're not, you know, stabilized and have a home yet. This is a terrible building. Let me get rid of this. This is a terrible building. Let me get rid of this. It's a small city. Hmm. Let me just get rid of all three. I'll just build tax building on top and trade it to Taltalt when I get a chance. And we'll keep moving from there. Now that we met a few new ca uh, factions, still no turncoats. Okay. We got ourselves faction council against Hleman. It's quite useless. Don't pay shuns back on the menu. I think she has like cruel. A skilled character. We tried that. It just a random character, so it's not really worth it's going to be super generic, not even going to have TUP art. Mm. I don't know if we'll ever use her, that's the thing. She's very low on the historical importance list here, and it seems like she's the only one who's great. Ooh, okay, maybe we can get a different character to make unhappy. The thing about the scandal, it's usually targeting someone who, you know, has pretty high satisfaction, similar to what happened to Li Bu. They don't tend to become turncoats, but Zhang Xun being the Grand Commandant of uh, Yuan Shu's faction would make some sense for us to tackle. Our teacher is a bit unhappy. And you can be the orator. She leveled up again. We'll take that. Elchan is unhappy. She's going to be more unhappy going forward, but. Right, she's going to drop another 12 points due to lack of purpose. We'll eventually find everyone in court position or get them on the field standing there so they don't have lack of purpose or something like that. But this is really all we can do for now. High Empire Non-Aggression Pack. Zhang Chao. These values are actually decently high. He's not exactly rich. It's okay. Could have probably got a few more there, but it's fine. This is just another way to stop myself from uh, attacking factions randomly that we shouldn't really be bothering. So we just sign these deals for some chump change and be done with it. And I think most other factions in the game like it when we do that. Kong Zhou, who's historically dead by this point, but lived on a little bit longer in game anyone else well i might actually want to sign uh yeah give me a military access actually going to be important for us and the high empire as well if we can Alright, not much money here. What if we throw you one and then you can, nope, maybe cash. I know you guys are loaded. Yes. I mean, we're pretty loaded. We haven't spent any money, therefore we have a ton of money. Uh, everyone else we won't bother because we don't need to actually walk through their land. Alright, that's pretty much it. Let's continue. Yuan Shu wants not only peace, but that we become their vassal. They give us a little bit of chump change. Disillusional. 
Okay, some vassalization going on. Lady Xiaohou? Zhang Fei's wife? Okay, um, well this is Gu Shi. This should technically be ours. This is where Liu Bei, Zhang Fei, Guan Yu reunited uh, post uh, or during Battle of Guangdu actually. And that's also where Zhao Yun would show up as well in the novel. Um, we're gonna just, oh, I guess we, we can walk through the Han land. Because I, I don't really want to cross the river and I don't want to trespass on Cao Cao. We should be arriving in Runan right here, and I'm hoping. Okay, this is Jiangxia. This is Runan. So we gotta walk across Huangzu's land first. That's fine. We could perhaps. We'll, we'll do a deal with him, I'm sure, once we meet him. We need a few more turns to push him. I, I would like to have him as the enemy of the Han. He's losing four points a turn. So I'm just waiting for the Emperor to give me the word. And we can go for it. Nothing's changed there. Yep, we're just continuing with our migration. There, there's nothing else going on. I could give a few land over to Yuan Shao to make him a bit stronger if we want. We can give up the Qing province. Because I feel like we're making a bit too much money. And we could definitely befriend him since historically we are going to run towards him in this period. I, I'm going to take your excess item, because why not? Seeing this item here, the mace, feels like he wiped out uh, a yellow turban character to get it. And... We'll give him the city. 25 points. That's all you have over here. And let's see. Give us a non-aggression pack. Might as well give us the military axes as well. Stack both of them together. And... I'll take money. This isn't a charity here. Oh, perfect of 15 points. Only Yuan Shu hate this because Yuan Shu and Yuan Shu are at war with each other. And you can see everyone else love this idea. And we will give you the fishing port and even the farm. And if he was playing historically, he would let his son have this land. Oh, this son, Yuan Tan, who actually fought uh, and got the land. Yeah, we'll keep it at 15 points since it's a tier bump for the attitude change. And you can see that we are above 150. He has become our best friend. And this is the extent of the type of deals we can push. So like unify, it'll be negative 50. This is the lowest we can make it. But the military strength and all that, you know, it's going to skew towards him because he now feels super strong against us. I don't have a lot of food left, as you see here. So I don't know if I can give up Zonglai's farm right now. It's producing two. Oh, I technically can. Yeah, I technically can. So maybe we will. I can reduce this uh, down a little. It's giving us uh, it's giving us decent income. I guess we shouldn't really. Uh, I'll hang on to that for a little bit um, until we secure ourselves some extra food because Runan's not gonna have food, so not gonna get any there. No changes here, I assume. Yep, we can continue here. And Yuan Shao won his wooden fish back for a thousand. No, I'm gonna keep the. <laughs> I know it's not worth a thousand, but. I'd rather have the item than have the money. Alrighty. Luo Jun. 
went to Wang Quan and then left. I mean, he would die first uh, in the assassination attempt against um, Liu Chong, but he's still alive in the game, so we will take him in. Don't worry. Uh, Su Fei will pass. Feng Xiu Song, another burn officer, High Empire. Feng Xiu. That surname doesn't ring a bell here. Wu Feng. Okay, that's generic. So we're grabbing. Ooh, Luo Jun with all the items still here. Good. Extraordinary large blade. Luo Jun's armor. What a name. You're the burn officer, yes. We have an open administrator position. It's probably gonna go to Donghai because we traded away Langya. Which makes Guo Si quite sad because I think he was the minister that we had. No, it wasn't him. It was Zhang Lu. Right. That's why we lost so much food, because he was providing such a big boost to food. Donghai. I could put Miju there. Zhang Lu would make quite a bit of sense as well. Let's just put Zhang Lu back. That solves so much food problems. Yeah, as you can see, we have quite a few unhappy situations, mainly due to lack of purpose. We could definitely consider summoning a few people just standing on the field. Uh, but first, let's Let's consider how we get to our destination. Yu Jin is working for Liu Biao. Interesting. Kong Zhou has peace. Oh, this is awkward. Why do you have a peace here? He fought the Yellow Turbans? I mean, I can go I can go towards the, the county, but I think someone owns that as well. Hello, Liu Biao. We need to be best friends. So let's first sign non-aggression. I'm actually willing to let you have a good deal. Now the rationale here is eventually we want to get that unified. So we want him to be our best friend, just like Yuan Shao right now. So we want to give him 15 points per deal if we can. And we can follow that deal up. With the military access. All the money we have saved are going towards deal making now. Two fourteen the trend. So if we do eventually want to unify, we'll get a minus ten. From the pinion. If I move this up to over 150, but still be negative 20 something. We need to strengthen our army setup if we want to get this to work. Alright, let's talk to Bonzu first. I don't really care about absorbing you, so you are. Wait, why can't you pay me money? He doesn't have any money. Huh. Then I guess we just... We just take the deal, as is. You have money. Good for you. He's like, why is my friend free and I'm have to get paid for this or pay me for this? Because you have it. Alright, this way at least we can walk through his land without any issues here. By his, I mean Liu Biao's territory, and hopefully none of his vassals 
would want to go to war with us. We're looking for Yuan Shu and we'll take his territory first. I hope he has a piece of Runan. If he does not, then um, it becomes a little bit trickier. Oh. Should I sign one with Cao Cao though? I'm most likely going back to war with him soon. Lady Xiahou has taken over Liu Chong's faction. And if we want to reunite her with Zhang Fei in the future, we're probably going to have to build a relationship. I don't know who's going to wipe her out though. But we'll sign a deal with her first. The coalition partners, Zhang Chao, Dong Min. Three more turns, and he's at 23. So even if I don't do anything, he's going to dip pretty fast. But we want it to be faster. Okay, I see Yuan Shu's land in Wunan. Perfect. He has the iron mine. We'll go grab that. Liu Chong. Called the foolish heir here. Liu Pinmin. Daughter of integrity. Oh, Xu Jing. A pretty well known scholar, but nothing too impressive. Yuan Yi is still alive. He has minus 10% corruption on his background bonus. Looks very young for 63. Um, Yuan Shao's uncle. Schemer of Jiangxia. Very, very bright. Uh, both brothers definitely helped about take over the Jin province fairly fast. All right, we're going to go to war very soon, finally. So let's continue, assuming there's no development here with turncoats. Ooh. Cheng Xu. Yuan Shao. Wasn't expecting this. And not that interested. So let's continue. Oh, Cao wants the non-aggression pact, but unfortunately, the second I get, you know, myself in Yunnan, we're probably gonna go to war with you. Okay, they're fighting all over the place. We're losing quite a bit of supplies from traveling in all these foreign land. I think we just speed it up and capture one quickly. Let's see if there's any changes here. Nope. What we can do, however, is start to provide Cao Cao some land for free as well. And to make sure he doesn't love us too much, we'll make him pay for it. Okay, he has quite a bit saved up. I don't want to really mess with his per turn payment because that can be used for how he weighs, how many armies he can keep on the field. I'm also going to give you... And it looks like he's gonna be our best friend, but it's fine. We're gonna also give you Guangling as well, which historically you should have. I mean, Chen Dong is technically his ally during this period, so. And the rest of the land, I'm not going to give him. Basically, when I declare war on him, he will come attack us and he'll take these land naturally. Um, I, I'd rather not lose this, but it's probably going to happen, so I can't stop it. Alright, we're fine. We're not recruiting her. We're going to fight Yuan Shu soon. Liu Min really wants to vassalize us. Nope. Zhang Chao got wiped. By who? The friend Zhao Yun. Sun's... <laughs> Sun's... 
All right, this way we put Cao Cao and Sun Ce, you know, on each other's borders. And perhaps they can make some moves against each other. We're going to find ourselves a new home. Ooh, Yang Song? So he would be kind of mm, not really important to us, but let's attack first. Let's get ourselves some land. I think we can just delegate this. And as someone mentioned uh, in the comment, since we are the leader refugee and the fact that the territorial units are considered militia units and we kind of took over for um, Tao Tian, we can recruit a few just to fill our ranks. Honestly, they make more sense than E Marksmen. And it actually works really well for us because we get the additional militia rank up. So they start out rank 5 for us. Quite nice. So they have Nanyang, which is correct. He has Chen as well. That's interesting. If I can get him to go into war with Cao Cao, that would be really, really good. But if we look at his attitudes, you can see that he's very, very good friends with Liu Biao. Cao Cao is just very good friends with everyone. Is he part of a... Okay. This is a problem because Cao Cao and Ren Shao are in an alliance right now. So it doesn't feel like they will fight each other. I mean, historically, that's not untrue in the winter of 199. Their fracturing relationship is happening right now, but they're still friendly. Um, in our case... It feels like we can even just march up to Nanyang here, which is owned by Yuan Shu. We fight him here. And then we can perhaps trade it to... I want to trade it to Cao Cao. I'm guessing... I'm guessing both of these are held by Yuan Shu. I don't know who holds in front. It doesn't look like it's Cao Cao. It might be Lady Xiaohou, actually. Hmm... Yeah, it's going to be hard for us to emulate uh, this actual situation, but we'll try. I mean, technically, according to the names in the game, we should be holding on to Xinye because that's the place that Liu Bao gives us to be our home for this period. So perhaps we can do a lateral trade, you know, county for county. But first, we'll stand here and heal up a little. All right, nothing going on here. One more turn till we can make him officially enemy and we can stop losing Imperial favors and such. All right, who's complaining? Which one of you have low satisfaction? I'm going to pay for your army. We'll get rid of all of them. Yeah, we're very far away from tearing up because of the lack of prestige points since we're giving away all the land. We have 17 food. So let's give away this as well. Do you have new items? No. <laughs> Just want to see the value. He can pay up. I don't want to make him too strong. Historically, he needs to lose. I'm surprised this alliance hasn't offered me to join them in the end turn there. I mean, everyone loves us except for Yuan Shu here. Alright. I think those are all the unhappy generals we have right now. 
Yeah, and they're all on the field, so they should start losing their lack of purpose. Let's continue. Oh, Sun Tzu wants to trade. I like that. We need to maintain relationship. We want to maintain a really good relationship with him. So... Let's see if I can send him some stuff. I mean, a lot of these really plain armors we're not going to use because we have so many gold ones. But we can give them away. Apparently, this wooden fish was worth a thousand in Ranshaw's eyes. And we'll be paying him enough to turn this to 15. He has a lot of the coast that we want actually so it could be a bit awkward. I see the highlighting he has most of the coast down there and we get our son Liu Shan. So he is born around this period uh, after Liu Bei arrived in the Jin province. That is historically correct. Is it getting better or worse? Actually, I can't tell. Okay, I guess it's getting better. Her, her value is just really low. Alright, spring again. And let's see what we can do here. Let's just continue with our military strategy. We're going for... We might actually want the one additional army into the extra campaign movement range, even if it's just 5%. This one's 15%, so we can get 20% extra boost. I don't actually need the replenishment. I fight fairly well. Let me take the redeployment cost first, and then get this, get that, and then actually come over here and get the campaign movement boost. Ah, this, oh, reset? Is that really necessary though? Like maybe we get rid of abundance, maybe. It will look largely the same. Warrior of the ages. Not his set, apparently. Or perhaps it is, but perhaps it's something with the MTU armor on him. Uh, but regardless... Oh, he's going to be unhappy if I take that. Okay, so you stay here. A range of retainer marriage. That item. I'm kind of afraid to do this, to be honest. But then in my mind, it's like sometime you get a pretty decent character from this. But there's an item offer. Alright, let's. I mean, it's only five turns though. Yeah, this is forever, I guess. Uh, retainer marriage. Hmm. I mean, we can do this, and if it's bad, we just divorce and kick her out. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed is someone that we want. Nope. Random girl. Tao Yang Ying. Absolutely random girl. Now I feel bad because we could have lost a potential gold item. Uh, now I have to first divorce you. And then kick you out for good. We have our son. Uh, we can make him our heir if we want, but uh, he will be unavailable for any bonuses for 16 years or 80 turns. A bit long, to be honest. Right. So we're not doing that. Yuan An Yang. Not much of a defense in their capital. 
You guys sit tight and hopefully keep rebounding here. Lo Jun with the reset. Basically, we just give up abundance, move this way, pick up the fists of righteousness, move into reach and flexibility. Hopefully they fix themselves soon. All right, let's continue. What's the traitor? Also want to pay us a thousand. Nope. Kong Zhou even declares war. He's been finally named the enemy of the people. And we're going to do what the emperor asks. So we've already seen Sun Jiao. We've already seen Sun Yu. I think we've seen him as well. Pan. Well, he was, I mean, he's, he has his own faction down in Jiujin. Um, got wiped by Mu Lu, it seems. Maybe he has item as a faction leader? Oh, we see him as well. It's the same characters coming back to us. Silver armor. Not really worth our efforts. Okay. We have to spend a turn sieging because we have no siege weapons. And we can change the command to Liu Bei for slightly better capture chance and also... Uh, well, Liu Bei is here. He took that, I think, recently. Is he at war with them? No, he's not. Hmm. We're gonna have to spend some money to fix the borders. We might have to buy his land and give them to Cao Cao. Yeah. <laughs> uh, putting up so much work to create the historical situation for the AI factions. They're bouncing back. Slowly, but surely. And we'll be fighting this soon. So let's continue here. He has more land this way. Seems like... Oh no, this is... Uh, so the border is one way only. That's his last piece of land, perhaps? We're wiping out the faction right here. That's a bit sad. Because it looks like the trade port's being held by Lady Xiaohu as well. Yeah, nothing we can do about that. We'll have to start buying land from him. Like, is it going to be super pricey? What's what's your cost on both of these? Not that bad, actually. Especially since we are best friends right now, so there's no real extra opinion hurts. Food amount, cost, opinion of the idea. I can give him this city, because I don't really want that. Um... Nanyang Wan Xian. This is where Cao, Cao, Cao Ang would die. Uh, we have Cao Ang here. We could capture and give it to Cao Cao as well and just buy all these with money and items and just give them to him just to make Cao Cao stronger and then betray him and attack him just so that he can come attack us. Yeah, something like that. Oh, by the way, now that we have best friend status, what... Do you think about this? Mm, no shared enemy anymore because he's out of a war. Anyways, let's continue here. Liu uh, Bei wants to form a coalition, but we have to pay him 8,000. <laughs> um, I love the coalition idea. Not a big fan of the payment he's asking, but for us, money is kind of meaningless, so I'm not against it. So we will actually agree to this. Alright, so we have a coalition with Liu Biao now. Oh, you picked up Honest. I guess we'll be wiping out Yuan Shu's faction now. Wang Anbao. 
got married into his faction, I guess. Maybe he offered up one of his sons. Cheng Yi. Wang Zhong. Overturned Feather. This disciplinary whip. That is definitely something that should be on Zhang Fei or something like that. What happened to his bow? Did you take it? He always want the bow. Eight prodigies of Jiangxia. Right. That was part of uh, Liu Bao's uh, group with eight fellow scholars. Uh, I think it's Jiangnan actually instead of Jiangxia. Maybe it's Jiangxia. Maybe Jiangxia Bajun. Jiangnan Bajun. Anyways, they were early on in the movement in the scholar against the eunuchs. And that's why Liu Bao was banned from government for a long time. And then he got recovered during the Old Turban Rebellion, eventually made... Ah, ah. That's where he is. That's a bit awkward. Okay, we have a plan. And our plan is... Talk to our coalition member. We're not supposed to have this. You're not supposed to have this. Let's make this happen here. Kinda wanted to give it to Cao Cao, but it might be just too difficult. This way he has a much harder time getting to us. And we can finish this off and then go finish him off here. Yan Xiang Yang Hong. White Rabbit. Head of the Yuan Household Guard. Avi advisor's official fu tou. Oh, oh, the headdress. For Yan Xiao, maybe. Is, is he took it from him? Celestial hairpin. That's probably Yuan An Yang's. Oh, no. Lady Feng. Beloved concubine. Alright, we'll be fighting them. Trying to get the items from them. We can probably buy this one and buy this one and give them to Cao Cao instead and also give him Nanyang and we'll sit here in Xinye. And then eventually we have to run towards Jiangxia and take this over somehow. Sun Ce is doing fairly well. He has all this land right here and I'm guessing more down south. Also is a bit weak. We need to strengthen him. Kong Zhou is an awkward situation. He shouldn't exist, historically speaking. So oh, yeah. after these turns are up, we're probably going to cancel all this and wipe him out. And give the land to Tal Tal. Man, we're working hard for him. Anyways, let's finish a siege here. Close victory. Don't really want any casualties here. Only 2% chance of capturing, though. And we will have a few turns to walk back down, so maybe we'll just delegate and save ourselves some time. Massive casualties, but mainly on the infantries here. The generals got hurt quite a bit too. Yuan Yang is captured and we can keep her. So she eventually will marry Sun Quan as a concubine. Don't want to decrease recruitment, unfortunately, so no migrations there. We, we really want the replenishment here. We're going to leave Cao Cao a pretty good tax building when we get a chance. And we'll obviously go fight them, whichever way they turn. And Liu Bao, while we're talking, let me try to buy these. Which one's cheaper? He cares more about the lumberyard. Well, let me buy the farm first from you. We'll offer you cash. Only cash. And, and a little bit of food.
And we have to gift over right away or else Yuan Shu will go... Actually, no, he can't get there. Then we can wait a while and we can help Cao Cao complete that. Or we can use this as a launching pad to attack Kong Zhou a bit later. Yeah, we have we have our ways. Let's continue for now. They're bouncing back. Both of them will bounce back soon. Deltran is going to take a while. Deltran should really get a title, to be honest. It's, she's a bit too low. We don't have any of the cheap titles available unless they are decently happy, which I doubt. Yeah, we have more and more people being unhappy, as a matter of fact. We can't afford it. Take an expensive one. And that way I can swap you out, actually. And these three actually get along here. Okay. We are at our army limit. That is a bit awkward. I guess for our reform choices, we can get the one that increases army limit going forward. There's no chance of lowering him. So I guess we'll just use the point to bounce ourselves back up after fighting him. Yeah, that's the only hope here. Let's continue. Zhang Yan yeah, want us to pay for non-aggression. No thanks. The wrong lady gun. Cruel pirate Guan Cheng. Never heard of him. Just got to look at their items real quick. Nope. He moved this way to come show down with us over here, which is good. I still want this. Liu Min, your daughter. Jade Marble of the Liu family. I mean, we're technically related. So, um, she just come of age as well. We don't want to do that. It's becoming quite reasonable. <laughs> if we keep, if we build out a full army, maybe. And we also have to make him look relatively weaker compared to us. That why that's why I kind of should buy up more of his land, really. Condense him in Xiangyang, essentially. All right, we're going to swap. I'm going to come down here. We're not exactly full health, but he can't reach us. Even on March, he can't reach us so that we have time. I, I want to buy this from you. No, not that. This. Okay, not worth very much. Very, very good. We had the other uh, tool maker on the menu earlier, and the price only 9,000. It's very affordable. All right, so these will give over to Tall Tall. Not now, but soon. We might also wipe them out. We have a couple more turns on the deal with them. We basically hang out in Liu Bao's area until like 207 because Hao Tao still had to fight all the remaining pieces of Yuan Shao's sons for a long time so he never turned his attention towards us until much later so we do have time there we should nurture this relationship it's still trending upwards but it's coming down to a much more neutral level I mean, our hope is in 15 turns we marry his sister, and that's going to solve our uh, heir problem or family problem. Not sure if, you know, Sunyan's a great heir, but at least it's a historical one there. All right, we can just wait it out for now. This is fine. We don't need to do much there. We don't need to do much there. 
And I just don't think we have any luck with turncoats this time. Everyone's very content. Maybe it's all the, you know, powerful TUP items. See, this is all a problem. I guess we just have to pass out titles. That's just going to be part of the price to keep these guys. That's fine. Well, June's level four. Let's call you general in chief. And the price of keeping these Bruin officers is basically a massive hit to our salary. But if we keep them happy, we actually gain unity instead of losing all of them. Um, trying to keep all these characters does have a lot of burden on us right now, especially with lack of court positions. So that's going to do it for us now. Let's continue. He really wants that. Oh, it's a different item this time, but no. A lot more factions are declaring war. Unexpected battle. Superstitious event, huh? He's trying to go over here, which is a mistake because all I have to do is trade territories. Wow, 20 point. He must really need the food. I don't want any deals. Maybe I will take some per turn income from him. Seems to be a bit more aggressive. I guess he's trading with control. And there's no way he'll fight him. Liu Yu is willing to unify with us. <laughs> oh, for free. For free. He thinks we're really strong military. I mean, he probably has a really weak military at this point. So basically, we'll pick up all the land over here if we want, but um, that makes no sense for our context, so we're not going to do that. Why don't you offer us that deal? He's just a little too strong in terms of his army setup. If he was weaker or we were stronger, it would be a different story. Um... I don't know, actually. I think if I just step out and ambush, he'll walk back into me. Let's see if that's true. Yep, he's marching right back towards us. We can't reach him, so we're because I didn't have Zhang Fei lead again. Uh, Zhang Miao, friends to oh, uh, befriend Wei Yan. Friends to all, Zhang Miao. Also I'll kill him at this point in history already. For setting up the betrayal. Plus 10 satisfaction to a ministered commander. Does that mean people standing in the commander get the bonus? Fame. A lot of administrator bonuses on him. Still fairly young. Could be a spy though. That's the only thing. That's making me a little hesitant to grab him. Tribal Exile? Bandit character? It's also always send these like very attractive, you know, pickups that you just know it's a spy. So we're gonna pass on all of those. Bronze. Save some retinue upkeep for our units here. And we'll continue to ambush. We'll pick up a reform. Maybe give us another army limit. Yeah, one plus one army right here. That will solve some of our issues. And we can summon a bit more unhappy generals onto the field. I mean, most of them have maxed out and stabilized a bit. But imagine if they didn't have the minus, then they would actually give us unity instead of lose unity for us. So people like Deltran should come back out. 
Wei Yan. Zhou Tai doesn't like them. Chenggong. So if you're in your 30s, you know, you're, you're causing problem for us. Alright, waiting for them to bump into us. Actively track, no need. The reroll offer is back. Set item. What do we get? Celestial Sphere, not bad. Um, the set that it completes is Knowledge of Heaven, which I think we have the Diviner on Guan Yu, actually. So if we want, we could get 10% character experience if we have an heir or someone like that, which we don't. So not relevant. Let's just continue. Sun Tzu wants us to be his vassal. Uh, no, no thanks. All right, this is why we can't vassal or uh, confederate them because they have way too many armies. So relative military strength is never going to really swing in our favor. He did walk into us, the poor guy, and that's how his faction is going to end. And we do have the highest capture rate right here. I'm going to give a first battle a delegate and then we have to chase him. Wait, we're invisible right now. We have to chase him down anyways. There's going to be two battles. Let's see how we do on the capture side of things. Ooh, we got the white rabbit horse, Yang Hong. So this Yang Hong, I have always thought was the wrong character they used in the game. This is going to be a later advisor in Shu. So we'll actually hang on to him, even though he's not that great. We're back on the field. All right, he dropped his horse. He can still drop us a uh, visor's uh, photo as well as this. He can still drop us something as well. So this is our last shot at this. There is no other way to increase this. I could use this horse for now until we get Dilu. Some, you know, there's a chance we can get Dilu, but not guaranteed. Forty-six, thirty-one. Faction wiped. Oh, we disappeared again. We did catch him. He is not giving us the right item, and he's also not giving us the right item. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna release both because this is their resiliency, and what we can do is hope they show up in our recruitment pool by getting a fondness from this release. It's hard to see him get a fondness because we're faction wiping them, but maybe. And we finished the Emperor's mission. Yuan Shu is no more. By 201, we're actually a little late in terms of historical timing, but not too bad. Ah, it's time to break up Liu Bao's faction. I like this. Huai Yu is available. We can start with maybe causing a civil war even. Where is... Where is Liu Qi? Oh no, our inside guy is not there. Oh, interesting. So Liu Qi has gone. Liu Chong has full control. He might have married him away. That's most likely. I, I don't think he died. I hope not. Uh, Wang Yun is with him as well. We want Huang Zhong, obviously. Let's see if he had any sort of spy defense. Plus 12. That's pretty significant. Interference plus 12. We can do this twice. And then we'll just do the interference once. So there's no defense. Plus 30, plus 7. Pretty decent growth rate there. We can try to break up his faction from the inside. That's going to be our plan. Alright, I don't know if we are going to actually fight them and give the land over to Tall Tall. We could. We'll start by doing this. And we'll just move through them because, you know, we're friendly. I wonder what land do we keep right now? I might just give them all over. Sappy, he can go take it himself. I'm kind of concerned that he's actually not going to come over here and take stuff. He's just going to 
come towards me. So maybe I'll give him Sappy right now. It's making us 7 food and 300 income. The income's neglectable and the food, the food is going to be an issue because we don't produce food on this side of the map. So if we end up losing everything here, we could run into a big problem with food. So maybe we'll wait on that. Let's just end the turn. I want to see if we might pick up Yuan Shu's character's next turn in the recruitment pool. Cao Cao peaced out with Dong Min. Guo Jia and Xu Yu becoming friendly. Cao Sheng. Not who I was looking for. Xu Xuan's back. Not who I was looking for. A burn officer from the Han Empire. Probably could take her. Unlikely she's a spy, but there's always that chance, and I want to be careful here. So we're going to pass on everyone. We'll use this as our save. We'll end our uh, episode here. Next time we come back, we have a few years to kill until we need to move on. Who is he at war with? He's going to go fight Dong Min. Wow. A bit ambitious. I, I would love for them to enter a war with someone so we can be in a shared war so we have a chance to get this to minus 10, right? And I can maybe build an army, make it minus single digit, and then with an ultimatum, which uh, we can't do it with the same coalition. Oh, that's going to be bad. Same coalition can't. Mm hmm. Right, so I can't ultimatum him. Things might be a little trickier than I thought. I mean, I still really like the fact we're in the coalition. It's pretty historical. Even if we don't get to unify with him, which would all... Well, honestly, historically, we never unify with him, right? We sided with Liu Qi. Liu Chong took over, surrendered to Cao Cao. And then we were on the run. So that part is fine. We just got to find a place to run to. Because right now they're all being held by, you know... So until, uh, we can't really take his land. That would break our relationship. He has this as well. I could run to Jiangxia, but that means I have to fight Huang Zhu. We have to tempt Huang Zhu into... Hmm. Maybe it's a spy game now. Maybe what we do is make him uh, fracture and have a civil war, and then we fight one side of the civil war, and then take those land. That might be the play. Kind of what happened with Liu Qi and Liu Chong siding with different sides. He picked up Yuan Shu, Yan Xiang, Zhang Xuan. Civil War it is. Or actually, we can turn them. It's going to be tricky. What we need to do is now pick up a couple additional spy reforms so we get additional spies. Uh, we can't prestige level up. So this is going to be our ways to gain at least two more spies, potentially three. And then we can work on spying situation with Liu Bao's faction from 201 to like 207-ish. And then we'll declare war on Cao Cao and start running towards, you know, the south. Um, the other part about the south is the land that we are supposed to be in control is owned by Sun Ce. What is Shang? What is this? He's oh, if he takes this. We might need to go south. If he takes Changsha, we take it now. Sure, we don't get to take it until like 208, 209, but like, we're never going to get a chance. That might be our opening here. We might go south. We'll still work on fracturing his faction though. That part I still want to do. But that's where I'm going to leave things. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye!